Welcome back. First, both Democrats and Republicans seem eager to ridicule President Trump claim President Trump's claim, rather, that he was spied on by the Obama administration. Suddenly, that is no longer the case. Today, Senators John Cornyn, Lindsey Graham, and Rand Paul, Republicans all, all of whom have had feuds with Trump, called for a congressional investigation of Susan Rice's behavior when she was in the Obama White House. Here's part of what they said. I believe Susan Rice abused this system, and she did it for political purposes. She needs to be brought in and questioned okay, under oath. Believe... Well, I believe she should be called as a witness uh, by the Senate Intelligence Committee. It's something Congress should look into. If she was involved in unmasking Trump transition figures, what was the reason and was there a political motive? I'd like to know that, and we'll get to the bottom of it. She... Of course, if the surveillance story suddenly is bringing Republicans to Trump's defense, then it must not be worthy of coverage anymore. This morning, Democratic strategist and former White House aide David Goodfriend said this on Fox News. Watch. Yesterday, my friend Tucker Carlson, and I want you to know this, I like Tucker. I've been on his show, but I'm sorry, he's turning into a high-paid smokescreen salesman for the Trump White House. He's trying to obfuscate and distract you from the real okay. news yesterday. Oh, fighting words. <laughs> Why don't you come say that to my face, David Goodfriend? Oh, wait, here he is. David Goodfriend All joins right. us on the set. <laughs> So, David, why am I yes. the civil libertarian here? As a lifelong conservative, why am I the one worried about the privacy rights of Americans? I thought that was supposed to be a liberal obsession. I don't know any liberals who care anymore. Actually, if we talk about Edward Snowden and the revelations that he made about NSA spying on individuals, that brought together people on the far left and the far right into saying that was too much invasion by the state. And I, for one, I'd love to see you support this as well. I'd like to see no reauthorization of uh, the Patriot Act and any of its surveillance methods okay, whatsoever. That, now you're getting abstract. Let's get but precise. That, okay. We know that a political appointee, Susan Rice, one of the former president's closest political advisors, right. requested the names of Americans and monitored members of Trump's entourage, in effect, for months, many months, going back to the Republican primaries. And it's not really clear why, but we know that her behavior was unusual. It doesn't make you uncomfortable at all. So I assume this is why you want me to explain why I called you a smokescreen salesman for the Trump. Well, I, be, I right? basically I mean, had the same conversation yesterday. Because Look, I'm not. I don't take it personally. Your, your personal, your, your previous guest who right. came on before me, Max Boot, lifelong Republican, somebody who said he opposed oh, whatever. Obama. I'm not even talking about politics. What I mean, said, I'm just talking no, wait, about but, as but an American that him. doesn't. Bo I'm not don't attacking Max him. Boot. I'm merely saying I don't care what his political. Affiliation what he is. Said I'm saying as an bigger, American, you're not bothered. Sure, I'm bothered. I'm bothered by our country being compromised by a number one foreign adversary in collusion with our president. That bothers me. And what Max Boot said to you, let me finish here, Tucker. The reason I took a hit at you this morning on Fox News and said uh -huh. you're putting up a smokescreen is because yesterday, or rather April 2nd, right when the Washington Post was going to come out with its story about the meeting between Trump people and Russians. That was when we decided to hear all about Susan Rice and the character assassination started. You seem to think that if you can distract your audience, and you've got an intelligent audience, you can know, distract them David, with talking about Susan I, Rice. You know, I want to talk I'm about not Russia. A political, I want to talk about okay, the okay, slow down. of shh, our shh, 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 shh. system. I'm not don't a political you? consultant. Aren't you upset by that? Slow down. I'm not a political consultant. I don't take orders from the White House. I haven't received a single piece of information from the White House. I get my information from people at lunch and the Washington Post. This story came out. I'm sure it was leaked by people with political interest in leaking it. It doesn't change the facts of the story. And the facts of the story remain Which exactly story? what the they Seychelles were. The no, no. With the Trump people? These are two separate strands. Oh, I think they One does not preclude nicely. the other. Here you have a political actor in a White House surveilling her political opponents. Wrong. That it's not wrong. It's it was wrong. admitted to by Susan Rice on television today. So it I doesn't bother okay. you at all. No, because it's not. No, I, I look, it's not. I just have to thank Trump. you that we ought to get rid of the Patriot Act. Of course, that's the Patriot Act. Me. I'm going to talk about the Patriot Act. It I'm absolutely talking. stems from the same statute. Now, listen okay. to me, Tucker. I'm worried about you guys. You made a no, statement no, this morning Tucker, on TV that was you actually. You don't seem to worry about the big story here. Here's you the big story. Hold on. Here's the big story as you described. This is what you said this morning to Shannon Bream on Fox. Yes, you I said, saw the clip. You said, no, here's another one. You said, we now know that yeah. a representative from the Trump camp met yes. a representative of the, of the Russian government yes, Eric in Prince. the Seychelles. Eric Prince, exactly yes. right. The, the brother of I got it. I know Eric Prince is. You said, as of yesterday, the connection between the Russians and the Trump campaign yes. has now been proven. Yes. That was long after Trump already won. 
So your yes. basic claim that Trump colluded with the Russian government to win the presidency remains not only unproven, but lacking any evidence at all. So maybe you should no, slow Tucker. down before making that claim. Oh, Tucker, now listen, we have an ongoing criminal investigation Do you have any evidence FBI. We have an ongoing... Do you have any evidence or not? I'm not before an FBI, Tucker. Like this? And as a matter of fact, yes, when you have the head of Where's the Where's the evidence? The head... Okay, this is... I, I've seen you do this on the show before. No, because no one ever you answers my question. Guest. That's why. Talk to... You just, you just berated a Republican guest who said we've got 17 national security... I don't care what your political today. affiliation is. Okay? If you're going to say things without any evidence at all, uh, I'm going to no, press Tucker. you. Tucker, you can actually ask and bring on the show Senator Mark Warner. Why don't you bring on the show James Comey? I've oh, wait had, a I've had wait a, a parade James of senators, Carter. and not one person can answer that question. And look, we may find out in a year's time that Trump and Putin were taking saunas every afternoon or chatting on their cell phones. <laughs> That's a But as thought. of now, we know nothing to that effect. And, and yet so let's you, stop making allegations okay, we but can't Tucker, support. You're, you're contradicting so I'm yourself. You're contradicting yourself. I am not. You have spent the entire day berating Susan Rice. Who you have no evidence yourself about She admitted her. on television today that she was she involved in surveillance she was of the Trump involved, campaign. Involved, look, Suppose she got a transmission. But that's said, cool now because it's anti Trump. No, no, no. no people you, have gone you're, insane. You're I'm being told I have to stop. Two sides of your mouth. There's only you're one side. Well. David, I'm cutting off because we're out of time, I'm being told. Thank you for joining us.